Hey everyone, today I want to show you my post-it note collection, let you know which are my favorites and also tell you why it has to be post-it. Actually, I'll start with that. I am not really a name brand snob in any other area of my life except for post-it notes. And it's just about the quality, not just the paper quality, but the quality of the glue as well. And I was going to do a demo of like before and after of post-it brand versus non-post-it. And it's really hard to do because a lot of other sticky notes are really good for a little Little while but they just don't hang in there as long so I have this is for example post-it brand I have this and it just sticks so nicely on there like it lays flat and it's just it's just really nice and you know not that these ones are bad these are my post-its that I got actually I shouldn't call them post-its because they're technically sticky notes right I got these as part of a little mini haul um, with some washi tape uh, maybe about I don't know six months to a year ago I guess and they're so pretty like these are the rainbow moon and there are a couple different types of like specialty sticky note that I really couldn't find anywhere else and it's really pretty but when you peel it off it like kind of curls up a little bit which isn't the end of the world like it does stick just fine but it doesn't lay as flat as the post-it which I don't know if you can see here like it kind of sticks up a little bit and the other thing that's great about post-it not that these are necessarily bad but the post-its just come off really nicely so if you are working on a project you put the post-it note on something and then you need to move it elsewhere it doesn't leave any residue and then when you have to restick it like I just restuck it and it still lays really flat so I love my post-it note collection and I don't think I'll be buying non post-it brands stickies anymore. So first up, I have my regular old good standard post-it. So I think actually my mom and sister and I found these post-its on clearance at Target a while ago. Maybe they were like $14 for, there were a few more of these, this, this whole multi-pack and they were on clearance for like seven or six or something. So we were like, wouldn't necessarily want to pay 14 or whatever the full price was, but the half price was really good. And these are just your regular old standard post-it. Now I will say that while I like all of of these I tend to prefer the lighter or the pastel colors better because I feel like a regular old black pen shows up better on this than maybe hot pink not that I'm against a hot pink post-it but I like a pastel post-it a little bit better but at any rate these are all great they're you know I mean I don't need to tell you what you could use a post-it for right these are awesome so it's nice to have just a regular old collection I am really curious if you like the post-it dispenser where it's not a stack like this where they're all stuck together. It's like the glue's on this side and then it zigzags so it goes back and forth and you can pull it up. Some people like really like those and some people hate post-it dispensers. So if you have one feeling one way or the other, let me know in the comments below. But I really like these. They're just basic post-its. Now, another version of this are the mini basic post-its that I have. And these are good for so many different things. My in-laws just moved here and they were building some furniture and it's funny because they were like we're not going to ask you if you have post-its we know you have post-its can we have some of your post-its and so I gave them some of these and they're building furniture so they use some of these to write numbers on them and label different parts so if you have a little project where you need to put stickies on a bunch of different things these are really good I have purchased before sometimes like the little sliver ones that maybe you can use when you're studying and you need to bookmark different pages although I feel like that might even be kind of like old school because everybody is virtual or e textbooks now but at any rate if you do have regular books you could always get those post-its or you could cut these in thirds and wind up with those little tab like post-its as well and lastly of the regular collection the non fancy which is still good the staple collection I'll call it are these ones and these are a little bit bigger than a standard post-it actually this one is a standard size so you can see that here so it's a little bit bigger and it's got lines on it now I really like these lined ones especially if you're working on a specific project because let's say you have a bunch of different projects going on at work or let's say you're a teacher and you have a bunch of different classes or whatever the case is you have categories sometimes when you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed it's like what do I need to focus on and you have just like a million different to do's and action items so what I'll do is I'll take these post-its and for each project I'll put a post-it on my desk so let's say I have five projects I'm working on I'll put five post-its on my desk I'll write the name of each project at the top and I'll write all of the items that I have to do on each post-it if it's a really important important thing if it's urgent if it's something I have to finish that day or if it's just something that's you know something I need to focus on now because I know it might be a little bit more difficult or detailed I'll put a little star in that sticker by it maybe I'll highlight it and then I can look at everything and that's helpful because then I can think okay I have an afternoon 
what of all of these tasks do I need to get done? And I really like that. And so um, sometimes I will change out the post-its. So, you know, after a few days, I'll look at everything, I'll cross some things off and maybe, you know, I won't need five post-its anymore. Maybe some of my projects or action items or lists or tasks or whatever are up to date. And so I don't need to rewrite anything, but I like to do that because it helps keep me organized. So I am a huge fan of the extra large post-it. I mean, I guess I would call them extra large. Maybe they're just large because this is like an average size, but I do like this one with lines. Now getting into the specialty post-its. So some of these were gifted to me by my friend. Some were purchased by my sister. Some I got at Target and it's funny because I'm like, wow, I get post-its gifted to me a lot. I guess that means the people close to me know what I love. So anyway, I showed a couple of these in a previous Noted by Post-it video and I still use these all the time. So I really like these. And again, I will sometimes when I need to really just like visualize something, sometimes I'll cut things up. And let's say like with this one, I'll cut it up so that just the three pink rows are on top and that's where it's stickiest. So it's almost like the entire sheet, not quite, but almost the entire sheet is sticky. And I'll put three main notes for each project I'm working on or each area of my house that I'm trying to organize, whatever it is. And it's just a nice way to stay organized. So I like that you can kind of color code things here. And then this, this one also has a bunch of different colors, but it's a little bit longer. So this is a don't forget list. So I really like both of these. Now these ones came in a noted by post-it gift set and they are really pretty because they have like little twinkles on them. So I like these a lot. I use circle post-its more for like one item of something like that's really important that I have to remember because it's not square. It doesn't have lines on it, but I do like it. So often this would be like a, hey, don't forget X, Y, Z. I would do that. And then I would just stick it to something. Now this sticks really nicely because almost this entire post-it is sticky. So if you were to look at this right here, that's the only part of this post-it that's not sticky, right? So this sticks really well. So I have these in this like teal green color, maybe it's more like a light emerald, and this pink fuchsia color. So I love these post-its as well. The rest of these post-its are pretty, but they're also really functional. So this one is a habit tracker, make it a habit. So I am currently tracking, this is one of my New Year's resolutions to do different like puzzles every day. So I got a New York Times subscription. So I do the mini crossword, now I do work every day I'm on like day 43 of my streak so I take that very seriously thank you I know you're thinking congratulations thank you very much and I also do the spelling bee so I really like this the habit tracker this is fun and you can just stick it in the beginning of your monthly and then it's easy because you can just write down the habit and you don't have to make your own tracker which can be fun but also sometimes with the lines and everything it can be a little overwhelming so I love these habit tracker post-its and I also like this one today's top three I think maybe this one's my favorite and the reason why I like this is because I've always heard like at the start of your day for a productive day you should ask yourself what three things do I really want Want to accomplish today and instead of asking myself that i like to ask myself what three things do i really not want to do but will i feel so good when they're done almost like if like a genie or something could come along and like grant me three wishes of like three items that could be taken off your to-do list what three items would i put on the to-do list and those are the three things usually that i want to do at least but if you put those items on your to-do list and you actually do them they make you feel so much better so like getting your taxes together. Of course, that's annoying because you have your W-2 and your 1099. And then of course, like this person's delayed in giving you that paper. And then you're like, did I ever get that in the mail? And then you like thought you e-filed and whatever, right? Like it's complicated. But once that's checked off, it feels so good. So I've been trying to ask myself that question a lot lately of what do I really want to check off the to-do list? What do I really not feel like doing? And then when I do those items, that usually makes me feel a lot better. So I do love the today top three. Here is another one very similar, my top three. So just like this, but instead of it being rectangular and a little bit long, it's the standard post-it size. And then this one here is a who, what, when, and it's just kind of got like really like you can put anything on there. And there's Sunday to Saturday, there's number there's a.m. and p.m. so I mean it, you could write here the who you're gonna work with what task what time when you're gonna work with them or if you really want you could just you know write on the pink part of the post-it so this is really cute and then these two right here are the standard post-it size this one's more of a top six than a top three but I like that if you're focusing on easier maybe shorter tasks where you know that you don't need to just do three things like maybe one thing is to pay a bill that takes you two minutes or whatever and so that's not something that's gonna be super difficult so I like this in case you want to make a list where you need a few more than a top three and then this one is to-do list also with six little boxes but there are no numbers on it so you can put really whatever you want on this speaking of to-dos if you are making maybe a multi-day to-do list this one's a little bit longer and I like this for your weekly spread of your planner so 
So you can just take this, put it in your planner. And what I would put on this for myself are to do's that I'm hopeful to get done this week, but I might not. So that that way I could do as much as I could. And if I finished it, great, I can trash it. Or if I think that I might need to finish up a couple things, I can just stick it and move it into the next week of my planner. So I like this to-do list. And lastly, I have these little, they're almost like tabs and they also have, they don't say to-do or anything on there, but they've got the to-do check boxes. So these are really cute. It's like a light mint, a lavender, and sort of like this. I don't know what color green that is, but it's a cute green. I like it. So anyway, here are my post-its. Are these more post-its than any human necessarily needs? Maybe, but you know what? In life, I guess we just have to find little things that bring us joy each day. And this helps me stay organized. I love having them in my office. And when I don't work from an office, like when I was out and about a lot, I would love having these in my backpack or my purse just to help me stay organized. So I think this is a pretty extensive collection. I'm trying to figure out how many I have here. If, I mean, if you take into consideration like these small ones and these, I probably have like maybe 30, like 25 or 30 post-its. So I don't need any more post-its. But of course, if I saw something when I was out and about that I couldn't live without, maybe I would get it. Anyway, I would love to know if you also need Post-it brand or if you have another brand of sticky note that you like that you recommend that I should try. And I'm also curious if there's anything I missed by Post-it that you're like, I think you would love that. So if there are either of those things that you wanna share, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.